I was looking on eBay under power supplies not working or power supplies parts only, I'm not sure. Anyway, one of the returns I got was this Mastec HY3003D. So, I needed a project. I thought $50, I can get it here. It at least powers up enough for the displays to work. This is the only description that came with it. Now, I should say, if you go to Mastec's United States website, they're discounting this power supply today for $90. So for $90 plus shipping, you can have a new one of these. I got this from a guy called uh, Deal Beatty. B-E-A-T-T-Y. I started to open it, but it had failed to press record. There we go. Nice dot box. Not badly packaged. So this is fairly, I bet this is damaged in shipping. It's been pushed it's been pushed back inside fairly nice it's a linear power supply which explains the heat sink So I'll, let's get an IEC cord and see if it works. I put a, a cord on it, so that looks pretty good. The displays do look a little crooked, as well as this being mashed in. I have to open it up at least for that much. Um, 7.9 volts. So the supply is rated for 30 volts, and we've got 31. Take it down to zero. Goes to zero. Uh, 15. We'll turn the current down to zero. Goes into the constant current mode. It folds this back. Turn it down one time. So as we turn it up, listen, see if you can hear the relays. There was a relay. There was a relay. There was a relay. Let's see if we have any output. I'll set it at, say, 20 volts. Without any load, at least, there's 20 volts displayed. And on my bench meter, I have... Twenty point zero two three volts. Put the bench meter in the twenty amp current position, and we'll see if we get any current. So I've got one hundred sixty three milliamps on the bench meter, and sixteen. Uh, 
0.16 amps on the uh, front parental display. I right, turn that up to 2.92 here and 2.9 on the bench meter. So it doesn't quite make 3 amps. But it works. More or less. Let's look inside of it since I have to just straighten out the uh, binding post situation. So I think these screws on the side, there's three on this side. We have a control board, some adjustments on it, some relays. Okay, and inside we have our power transformer. The red ones come in here, the on-off switch, and then this is the primary. So we have a presumably secondary center tap transformer. Maybe the blue wires are control. And then these are tap transformer winding. This circuit board. I'll get it in so you can see it. The uh, front binding posts are mounted to this circuit board here. And this circuit board was mounted to the front panel with this screw here. So in shipping probably, maybe not, this got pushed back See, I'm pushing on the binding posts now. Got pushed back, breaking that circuit board, actually coming loose. So what I'm going to do is take the front panel off and see if I can put that back into shape. I actually think that most of the damage to the front panel was done in shipment to me. Examining the seller's picture, looking at the seller's picture, this appears to be intact. Although the monitor, the uh, displays appear a little crooked. This display is snapped behind this little plastic snap here. This display is not. And I can't quite get it down to where it will snap in. And apparently the uh, sideways and verticality, is that a word? <laughs> of these displays is a function of loosening and tightening these two screws. So I can't get it down there. And I don't know why, but I'm going to find out. There we go. Snapped down under. 
and sort of make it look parallel to this side. You can see how the circuit board's been mangled there. Press this all back together and put a washer on it. Remove this screw and this is one of the two mounting screws that goes in this hole. Not a hell of a lot of holding that in.
load the IEC connector back in. If remember, I didn't tighten those bottom screws. This is not quite right, but I think the PC board is bent. Uh, and I'm not in a position to straighten it.